Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 8 Professional 64-bit on uh, any PC. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is put your install media into your machine and boot to it. If you don't have an install media, so if you don't have like a Windows 8 DV install DVD, what you can do is if you go to Google and just Google Windows 8 64-bit ISO, then here you can see on the Microsoft website you can actually download the Windows 8 install ISO. So if you click on the link and then scroll down and download tool now, you can then use this tool to create a, either a bootable USB drive or a bootable DVD drive. So if you just create that, put it in your machine, uh, start your machine, then it should say press any key to boot to this device you'll then get this window up so if you just select your region so I'm from the United Kingdom uh, this is very important because it, then it will put um, the keyboard the correct keyboard mapping so it'll put UK keyboard mapping so uh, after you've selected that click next then click on install now Okay, on the next screen you need to enter your Windows 8 serial number. Uh, on some machines you can actually get it from a sticker that's on uh, your machine. So just enter that and then click next. Uh, I'm just going to pause the video while I do this. Okay, on the next screen we just need to tick this box and click next. Now I always go for custom install and it's going to ask you now which disk do you want to install uh, Windows on uh, make sure that you've backed up all the data if you've got any on there because this install will completely wipe everything that's on there, it will do a format and it will install a fresh operating system so select that hard drive that you want to install on and click next okay it's then going to copy the files and it's going to start to install them so I'm just going to pause the video while it's doing this because it will take some time okay now it's in finished installing it needs to restart so click on restart or just let the timer go down when you get this screen press any key to boot from CD or DVD don't press any key just let it go past there because uh, it doesn't need to boot to the install media now it needs to continue the install the install now is running uh, a few more tasks uh, it's gonna do this and it's gonna reboot your system two maybe three times um, so now it's just completely automated so just sit back and watch it Right, we've now got a few uh, questions to answer. So here, it's going to ask what colour scheme you want for Windows. So uh, just select whatever colour you like. Uh, here we need to enter a PC name. You can enter anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to enter Windows 8. Uh, click Next. Here you can either use Express Settings or Customise. It's completely up to you. Um, I'm going to use Express Settings for now just because it's a little bit quicker. But I'd recommend you go through the custom settings and obviously set every setting as you'd like. Okay, it's now setting up an account uh, that we're going to use to log onto the PC. Um, it's not been able to contact the internet because this machine is not connected to the internet. So what we need to do is create a local account here. So username, username can again be anything you want. I'm just going to put my name in there. Uh, then enter your password twice, sorry. And password in just in case you forget your password. So click finish. If you do forget your password after entering it, there is um, a video I've done of how you can actually recover forgotten passwords. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can uh, easily find it if you need it. Okay, Windows 8 has now finished installing and you can, as you can see here we're at the desktop. Uh, but there's a few things we need to do now. 
uh, the very first thing I do after installing a new operating system is update the device drivers. So if you click on the start menu and type in device manager, and if you click on the program here, device manager, now you need to check uh, under other devices, it will list all of the um, hardware under there that you couldn't find a driver for uh, so here you can see the base system device drive we need to download the software then if you come in here and do update driver software and then just browse to where you downloaded the driver for it um, another thing I do is I go through all of the devices updating them so for example here the network adapter it's just installed like um, a base or an old uh, driver for it. So I'll download the latest driver for that device and then I'll update it. Um, network adapter and the video or display adapters are the most important to update. Um, so once you've done that, restart your machine. Um, after that, we'll need to activate Windows. So if you open up File Explorer here, where it says this PC, if you just right click on there and go to properties, and we can see here, uh, oh, my Windows is activated, I did activate it a while ago, but here you'll be able to click on activate Windows, and it will automatically connect to the internet and activate. Uh, next thing is to install uh, antivirus software. Uh, it's quite important because you obviously don't want to uh, catch viruses, it could destroy your machine. Um, I recommend um, AVG, uh, it's a free free uh, antivirus software. Um, I've used that for years, I've, I've never had any problems, I believe uh, it's very good. And the last thing you need to do is run Windows Updates. So if you click on the Start menu and if you just type in Windows Updates, and if you click on check for updates, if you click on check now, uh, that will then contact the Microsoft website and it will download and install all of the latest um, hot fixes and service packs for your operating system. Um, but yeah, that's the last step. So hopefully you'll be able to follow this guide uh, with no issues. Uh, if you do have any issues or any questions, please post them in the comment below and I'll help you out. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.